I woke up with some runs in my lungs. Like, roll up, hold up. I got some blunts in my trunk. Go up, I'm so up. Get high as the sun. You know what? I get bust. I'm just having some fun. You know what? I woke up with some runs in my lungs. Like, roll up, hold up. I got some blunts in the trunk. Go up, I'm so up. Get high as the sun. You know what? I get bust. I'm just having some fun. I get cash. Every day I get bags. Zip lock in them rags. There we am in the bag. I rarely ever get mad. Blowing rats out the bag. Like what you talking about? Get some stacks. Fill the stacks. Get a trap house. Live what you rap about. Not just what you act about. Been grinding to the pack out. Just landed and going back out. They got me on this check route. Check me out. I'm having it. Whole lot of sex with the cash in it. Whole lot of racks and I ain't have to black mask for it. I ain't have to turn the bank into a masquerade. Like give me the loot. I want it all, but I ain't in here to shoot. I'm standing tall, you can't give me the move. It's time to cash out. I woke up with some runs in my lungs. Like roll up, hold up. I got some blunts in my trunk. Go up, I'm so up. Get high as the sun. You know what? I get bust. I'm just having some fun. I woke up, feeling like the man I am. I don't entertain the beat, and I ain't got taste for that. Yeah, I used to fuck on Pam, trying to dodge it like a ram. The rats make them understand, my mama named a nigga man. The rats came in the can, break them off like I'm dancing. I guess they think a nigga play. I swear to God that I don't play. It's the people run tape, the horseshoe ain't the one way. I'm fresh like it's Sunday. I just left the Android in the apartment with Conway. All my niggas from the alley, you know they go the dumb way. Rats in my blunt, nigga. Who feel me with lean? On Martin Luther King. Just to everything. Rice with the steak. Rats in the cake. I'ma need a second plate. Shout it on a second day. Ballin' like we on the crate. I remember Jimmy Tate. Long little baby sweet. Atlanta L is not a street. In the city where they reach. I woke up with some rats in my lungs. Like, roll up. Hold up, I got some blunts in my trunk. Go up, I'm so up, getting high as the sun. You know what? I get bust, I'm just having some fun. You know what? I woke up with some rust in my lungs. Like roll up, hold up, I got some blunts in the trunk. Go up, I'm so up, getting high as the sun. You know what? I get bust, I'm just having some fun. Yeah, man. Yes, another solo cup session. And we live. We doing things like this here today. First, I want to give a major, 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 major shout out to my boy Q. Holly, yeah. What's happening, homie? What's happening? Want to give a major shout out to him. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. My boy came through me for me today, you know what I'm saying, with the gear. He came through with the gear, you know what I'm saying. If you want some gear made, you know what I'm saying, um, you can find him at GSL. GSLwear.com. For custom designs, you can find him in IG on GSL underscore Q-U-E. That's Q. And on Facebook. G H L S Q. You can find him once again at IG for custom designs. G H L G H S L underscore Q. And on Facebook, G H S L Q. For all the custom designs you need for embroidery or things like that, logos, all of them special things that you might find. But there's the uh, information right there if you want to take it right down. Q, major salute to you, King. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? You've done a lot for me in the background from advice to, to just being a big brother, man. And I appreciate you for everything you've done. Now, hello, hello, hello. Hello. It's your boy, S-O-L-O. -O. Yes, indeed, I'm here. Mr. Jermaine Hall in the flesh. Here to talk to y'all about baggage claim. Yeah, baggage claim. I know y'all familiar. How y'all doing, kings and queens out there? You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's enjoying this beautiful evening. I know you got a Titans game to get to today, so I am not. 
going to hold you long. I'm just going to make sure we have a good time in the meantime. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get right to it. Well, let me let me let these kings and queens step off up in here for a second. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Let me see who we got in here. First and foremost, who we got in here? All the kings and queens. Yeah, y'all looking good, too. Hey. I wanted to uh, state something that I probably didn't state last time. I know I said I'll be switching right to uh, YouTube. Got to work out a couple of things on that end. But it's minor details. Minor, minor details. But from now on, y'all going to be able to catch me right there on YouTube. The Jermaine Hall Show. I'm going to drop the uh, link to the Jermaine Hall Show. And I'll be dropping it on here the uh link to get directly to that live if you don't catch it you know what i'm saying that's just if you don't catch it if you don't catch it the link will still be on here i'll still be advertising through facebook to let y'all know when i'm going live and everything just gonna be fire more content more heat more big guests to come today is just me and i'm giving you all the business with this topic that's just been on me it's been on my head for a while so i really want to talk about it because i believe that a lot of people go through some of the things that i'm about to talk about uh baggage claim basically spells out you know the things that we carry from the past in the new relationships or into the future you know what i'm saying um i'm not accustomed to being a fixer i expect you to be an adult if i meet you you know what i'm saying if i meet you i greet you and i give you you know uh any type of attention for a, a special day or in, in a special way I, I feel like you know you should be an adult and be conscious of the things that you need to fix and the things that you need to uh uh get a hold of since I'm doing all the work on me, I feel like you should do a lot of work on you and we can come together and build from there. When seeking a new thing or a new person or a new uh, situation, I feel like the honeymoon phase can simply carry uh, you into anxiety of some sort or smooth blend of blindness. And the reason I say that is because the honeymoon phase is so dope sometimes and the individual is so dope sometimes and forget to have these very important conversations get your drinks something to roll up by the way whatever you do it's your boy solo and i'm here to do it with you feet up it's some comfortable chairs in here put your feet up smile for once even if it's been all day Put a beautiful smile on your face and we're going to get right into the very thing that I like to get to, which is baggage claim. Baggage claim. Let me tell y'all something about baggage claim. Boy, baggage claim could be a, a, a sticky situation simply because it's the past experiences that you carry forward, you know, moving forward. Um, it's not something to take lightly and some people often do. I consider it effective communication when you bring up the things that uh when you bring up the things that bother you things that trigger you things that you know basically are not i don't want to say the norm because you know everybody has a different norm every have everybody lives a a, a different reality out there so i don't want to use the word norm but I feel like it's effective communication if something absolutely bothers you or you have those pet peeves or things that you strive to be or things that you strive not to be in life. Those are important to talk to me about simply because I feel like, listen, I've been going through a lot. I've been I've been seeing a lot of things in life and I feel like if I'm going to engage you, you should know what those things are. It's only fair that you know what those things are simply because uh basically 
moving forward, I want a good foundation. I want a strong foundation. I want somebody that wants me too. You know what I'm saying? So if I want a failed relationship, I would sign up for a temporary failed relationship and never tell you anything. You know, I, I just keep it going with how I've been moving, which is not saying a thing, just staying to me. And I don't think that's fair to your new partner if indeed, if indeed you want something special to come out of what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Um. When you're getting to know each other, you're getting to know each other for every good deed and every bad deed that's been done. I don't agree with the fact that you should tell them things that won't affect them. If they won't affect them, keep your mouth shut. Everything ain't to be said. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't for everyone anyway. I feel like uh, the most special thing somebody could do for me is... Uh, Tell me the truth about who they are, who they aspire to be. I feel like that's the most important thing you could do for me. So when I say baggage claim, I often uh, get the, the side I like. Baggage claim, you think about the airport. But I'm talking about what we label baggage. I don't think it's a good or a bad thing, actually. I, I just think it's lessons learned. You know, I think it's... Uh, Something past experiences that you you don't have to carry with you as long as you're working on them and you're uh, building from that particular time frame that you came from. I believe that they are things that can help you to have a very healthy, healthy relationship. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you desire to be out here and be single, be... Uh, I guess in entanglements, you know, that's the word that's been going around here lately. If you desire to be in things like that right now, then I'm not talking to you. This is not for you. I'm talking about the people that's actually looking for a solid foundation within the situation that they're in. If you got a person that you kind of believe in and you want to believe in more, I'm going to tell you right now, communication is the best part of it. You begin to trust each other. You begin to build a bond. You begin to do things for them that you wouldn't normally do. You know what I'm saying? I personally know that I have an issue with space. I like my space. I know that that baggage comes with me. If I can't have a girl that's too clingy, I can't have a girl that desires for me to be up under her daily, constantly, uh, I know that there is a, a, a an acceptable amount of communication that needs to happen uh, on the daily. I do get that. Definitely get that. But a constant need for me to give you attention or be in your present presence, I cannot do that simply because I have dreams, goals. Every time I accomplish something, I'm already on to the next thing trying to build up. And do more and more and more. That's just who I am. I've never been anybody else. I'm, I'm always on to the next thing. Trying to figure out how to build upon the last thing. And the next thing has got to be bigger than the last thing. That's just who I am. So if you know you're a person like that. That needs your space. Needs uh, time to build. Needs, you know, uh, things to... to, to come together for you without company then that's something you need to express i understand that i need to say that up front because some people are really not with that they're really not for taking a break such as we're just dating we're just dating that's the level of the relationship we don't split bills together i do things special for you because i care about you at this point and we've already uh, made it clear and concise that hey listen I don't want to date nobody else it's just me and you we're together but it's still let's say two three months in it's still fresh so I don't need to move in and get married you know what I'm saying but it's just us so if we at that point it's very important for somebody like me that feels the way I feel like baby I can't be up under you 
24 hours a day. I got to get to it. You know, it's important for me to make her understand in her language because we may deliver messages very differently. It's important for me to make her understand that I need space sometimes. I need to not hear anything just as you hear nothing in the background right now. Those are the times that I need. That's the space I need. And it might just be a little soft music in the background playing. And I'm jotting down my thoughts. I'm, I'm, I'm working through my vision board. Or I'm working on my next uh, show. Or whatever the case may be. She needs to understand that that's who I am. And there's nothing she could do to change that drive. And I, would, I wouldn't encourage you to try to change somebody's drive. Because... Obviously, you are attracted to something in the beginning about it, or you would have never pursued it. You see what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't pursue a, a dancer if I don't want her in the club late at night. You know what I'm saying? That's misguiding, because I don't want her to think that I came to take you away from you. No, I came to compliment you. And I think it's very important that you understand who you're dealing with and what comes with that person. Yeah. Yeah. We evolve. Yeah, we go through things and things change. But I mentioned that space thing because I do understand that that's a big thing with, with women. They need attention. They absolutely need attention. So if you need that attention, and I'm not the one that can provide as much attention as you very well may need, then, hey, I'm doing both of us a disservice. I'm doing both of us a disservice simply because I should have said, listen, little baby, this ain't that. I can't be everything you want me to be right now simply because I'm trying to be me. I'm trying to be a better me. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I remember. Kicking it was cool all day long. Spend the weekend, whatever you wanted to do. I remember a time where it wasn't so important for me to uh, be where I needed to be on time, so to speak. You know, I was the guy that was like, yeah, I get to it. I, I do this. I do that whenever because I didn't care much. But I was young and didn't understand goals and vision back then. Yes, I knew what they were, but I wasn't committed to all of that. You know what I'm saying? So being that I wasn't so committed, I had time for women all day long, all night long. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, nowadays, that that guy, I'm sure everybody is uh, evolved. Everybody's a different type of, you know, person you've evolved and you're not the child that they remember so i'm gonna get to your comments in a minute trust me i'm not ignoring y'all i'm gonna get to your comments but uh we're we've all evolved we've all evolved in some sense of the word you know what i'm saying and when it comes to me people remember the party people remember uh jermaine damn you ain't you ain't going out Till 4 in the morning to come kick it with whoever for what for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was all about that. I was all about that before. But now you can catch me in the house for like three weeks at a time. Because I'm trying to revise and I'm trying to rekindle the things that I got going on future-wise. The foundation I'm trying to build. Things that I'm trying not to... Uh, mess up so to speak i got so many more responsibilities other than myself now you know what i'm saying and that alone tells me that hanging out uh being a person that doesn't pay attention to the responsibilities that i have uh on a daily is not what we do you know what i'm saying uh, Miss Omita Benjamin, how you doing this t on this beautiful day? Greetings Hanging out. to all of you queens. Uh, all of you queens out there. 
You know what I like the most is that you queens and kings show up and y'all look good when y'all show up. Uh, I do understand that there are things that I haven't said to women in the past that absolutely turn them off because they feel like up front you should have told me that piece of information. You know what I'm saying? Up front you should have said that you don't like uh, spin the nighters. I know we know them spin the nighters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, those spin the nighters that get you every time. Uh, Miss Nokia says sometimes past experiences, baggage, trauma, etc., have a sneaky way of influencing behavior subconsciously. That's a fact. That's an absolute fact. But I won't say it's sneaky. I wouldn't say that it's sneaky. I would say that people are well aware of what they're going through in times that they uh they are experiencing on the inside. It's just all about you picking the timing to convey that information the right way. I know that sometimes you feel like uh, they won't. We don't give people enough of the benefit of the doubt to be able to handle the truth. You know what I'm saying? We don't. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am, Miss Omeda, uh, procrastinator. You know what I'm saying? That's big. Uh, Mr. Romo, how you doing, sir? He says, no, man, if you want something or someone bad enough, you'll make that change. If you don't want to make that change, then it's not meant to be. That's a fact as well. That's a fact as well. But sometimes commitment is the first thing, yes. But sometimes you can commit to something and not know that you bit off a little bit more than you chew. You can chew, you know what I'm saying? And when it comes to baggage... And committing to a relationship, I'm going to tell you right now, there's some sticky situations out there. Things that people have to explain to the new person, to the new person, that they a little bit because I don't want to. I found out a girl's truth down the line. And it wasn't as bad as she made it out to be. But to her, it was big. To me, I had seen it so many times. I'd been through it so many times that I was like, why is that bothering you? But it bothered her. You know what I'm saying? It bothered her to the point to where she was like, look, I ain't never been through nothing like this. I didn't know that, you know, this was not big to you. But I'm looking at her like, what can I do for you? How can I help you? Just tell me where I could compliment you. Do I need to uh do I need to leave you in peace and let you fix it or can I do something for you? You know, and she was just like, "Look, I got it. I just didn't want to leave you in the dark about it." And I was like, "Well, look, I found out from somebody else, but I just wanted to ask you and see if that's something you wanted to talk about." And we were straight after that. We became great friends still to this day. Later on down the line, you know what I'm saying? But my biggest thing was she could have just told me. We can't dictate when somebody just tells you something. You know what I'm saying? And I'm here to tell, encourage you not to withhold pertinent information from that partner. This baggage claim thing. Pick up your baggage. You know who can carry the baggage that you got and who can't. You can look at their lives. You can look at how they carry themselves. You can look at how uh, things are falling or coming together in their own lives, their stability, their mental capacity. There's so many signs of who can carry what you have to offer, who can compliment you in those situations. You know what I'm saying? So many things you could do to build. It's some people that might not be ready right now. For what you have to offer. But you can see that they're trying. And they're absolutely showing you forward progress daily. And that, and then yeah. Let that old cat out the bag so to speak. You know what I'm saying. Ladies I'm not talking about your special parts. That's not what we're talking about. I'm not talking about the little cat out the bag. Because at the point I'm talking about right now. You're not ready to let it out. I don't, I don't know how many ladies in here still doing the 90 day rule. Fellas we need to start doing the 90 day rule. Keeping the pee pee off the table for 90 days. Salute to that. How many gonna drink to that? I don't think none of them out there drinking right now. <laughs> so listen, I uh 
I know for a fact that when meeting somebody, women, men, women and men alike are doing the investigative phase, right? The investigative phase can confuse you sometimes. You're looking for so much in such a short period of time. <laughs> Nokia say shit. <laughs> Hey, listen, we need to do the 90-day rule for real. We need to keep the PP off the table and make these girls wait, fellas. Make them wait. Make their ass wait like they make us wait. You know what I'm saying? But the investigative phase. The investigative phase can confuse you when it comes to baggage. This is why I feel like that. When it comes to baggage, you're looking for so much. How you doing, Miss Cheryl? Salute to you, queen. You're looking for so much in such a short period of time and trying to make your mind up whether you're still uh, talking to or dating more than one person at a time. You know what I'm saying? Or you're all the way engaged in this one person but you want more for yourself at such a fast rate because you've seen all the trash but you feel like this person is great for the position. That investigative phase can help, can sometimes Fool you into skipping exposing all of your baggage. Simply because you're like, oh, things are so great right now. We done went on two trips. I done met unk. I done met cousins. I done met sister, brother, whoever. You done met all these good people. And then you forget, oh, I forgot to tell them baby daddy crazy. Or I forgot to tell them. You know, whatever the baggage may be. I forgot to tell them I've been kidnapped before and that trauma bothers me. Don't put no bag over my head because I've been beat up before in a major way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how you doing, Miss Henry? Salute to you. Because I feel like sometimes it's a little give and take in a relationship. Some things you shouldn't reveal too quickly. That's a fact. I already stated for real. That there's a time and a place for a lot of things. You've got to be the decider of what that person is privy to. Because you can also, I've been guilty of giving way too much, way too much information first date. First date, I'm telling them about my whole face. First date, my mama said, stop doing that. You had to stop telling them about your whole face first date. I didn't have a problem with it simply because I live my truth 100% daily. You ask me something, I'm a wide open book. You can either, what I found out is that you can either accept me for who I am or you can keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And because I have that mentality of accept me who I am or keep it moving, I ran off some good ones. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to get to these comments. Miss Nelson, she says... Uh, I am learning honestly. Honesty doesn't always work, shaking my head. Especially if the other person can't be honest about their baggage. And that point is doomed from the start. And it ain't 90 days or 180 days going to work. It's best to just walk away. You're right. You're absolutely right. Again, that's your own personal observation of... It's a it's a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a blanket statement. So I wouldn't sit up here and make a blanket statement because... I believe that there's a such thing as love at first sight. I do. My parents been together almost 40 years now. And they've been through whatever they had to go through. You know what I'm saying? They've been through whatever they had to go through to get through them 40 years. But they made it work. Nowadays, it's such short-lived. I don't think we're looking at relationships the same. You know what I'm saying? Miss uh, Nikki Rivers, hello, Queen, how are you? Um, I just don't want you to pursue new people with unrealistic expectations, first of all, and then you withholding pertinent information. Like, I'm sure every woman out there, whether attracted to me or not, if I approached you, I'm sure you would like to know early on in the dating phase if you decided let me start dating Jermaine let me see what dating Jermaine is about I'm sure it would be very important for you to know if I don't take care of my kids or if I'm abusive or 
uh, if I'm just accustomed to leaving you high and dry, if I'm just all these things are pertinent things that you want to know and find out early before you invest your time, money or otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Those are things that I'm not willingly, if I was a shitty dude like that, I'm not willingly going to just tell you I beat women. There's some guys out there telling women, I beat your ass and they mean it. They mean it, but women don't run. They just be like, I fight back. And you're like, little baby, you don't know that you're going to win that fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or homie, you don't know that she ain't going to whoop your ass. So you might want to keep your hands to yourself. You know what I'm saying? But pertinent information such as I know that women need attention. I know that women love attention. And I don't mind giving it. I just can't give as much attention, which is why I'm not currently pursuing a relationship because I know that at some point it's going to fail because she's going to ask something of me. I've already said I'm not willing to give like all of my time. We can hang out a hundred percent. We can absolutely. Let's meet up for drinks. Let's go get a dinner. Hey, I found this new steak joint and sometimes that might send the wrong message if I invite you out too much. So I try to do it in moderation. I try not to seem overbearing. I try not to uh, be on your phone all the time simply because it can send the wrong message. But I think it's important that I tell you I don't have the amount of time to give you right now that it takes for a firm and steady relationships. Some people make long distance relationships work. I am not one of them. I need you around the corner or in this house. I'm not. Dealing with being tied down to somebody that's in Japan. I ain't doing that. Find you somebody in Japan to make you happy. Some people can do it though. They like, look, this soul tie so strong, I'm willing to wait for you. They can do that. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I still think there's a conversation that needs to be had with that. Are we going to make this work and commit to it? Miss Henry says, don't put your own foot in your mouth. There's a such thing as honesty, but also how you present your feelings in life, past and present. That's a fact, too. Ain't my foot in my mouth. Thing I will say is. Some people. Are honest. Some people are. Still under the impression that omission is not a lie. I believe that the omission of facts is a, a lie. Is a lie withheld information. You purposely didn't tell me a detail so that I would react in a desired manner. That's what I feel like omission is about. They want you to react in a desired manner. I'm not the type of person that will give you half the truth. I just tell you I'm not ready to talk about it. Or this information that you're asking for, I don't want to give it to you. Or I'm going to just tell you what's happening and reap the consequences that come with it. That's who I am. That's who I am. Everybody is carrying what we refer to as baggage, right? Which is nothing more than things, lessons, or, or uh, experiences that we've gone through in the past, right? That's baggage. Some things can be current we label this. I know people out here labeling uh, single women and men with kids as baggage. That's why I say it's not a good or a bad thing. It's just something that comes with you. You know what I'm saying? So if you have this quote unquote baggage, I believe that being ashamed of the baggage is you being counterproductive. Here's why I believe that you being ashamed of your baggage is counterproductive. I think that you haven't owned up to what you need to work on or you haven't built up the nerve to just be honest about who you are as a person. And why you're ashamed of you, I have no idea. You know, there's so many cases where people have low self-esteem from previous relationships or past experiences and... The, the last thing out of their mouth is going to be, I got low self-esteem. Why not? Just say it. Talk to me. Because now, I'm more motivated. Me as a, me as a user. I'm self-sufficient. I'm stable. You know what I'm saying? I hate to look to my left and right and see that somebody is feeling less than. 
Since that bothers me so much, since that bothers me, if a woman was to tell me, hey, listen, I'm not feeling up to par. I, I, I have low self-esteem issues. Uh, it, it stems from a relationship I had. I went through this, that, and the third. She don't necessarily have to recall every detail of that trash relationship she went through. But the only thing I locked in on was low self-esteem. And I say, tell me where. Where do you see less than in you? Because I'd like to think now you're insulting my taste in women. Hey, God bless you, Romo. Bless you. I appreciate you checking in, bro. Uh, take care of yourself. Salute to you, sir. Uh, I like to think that you're insulting my taste in women when you tell me that you feel less than with me. Because now I'm motivated to be everything you need to build you up every chance I get. You know, that's just who I am. What don't you like about your stretch marks, girl? I'm finna kiss every stretch mark you got from now on constantly. You gonna get tired of me. I'm gonna become one of them stretch marks. You see what I'm saying? You don't like the glasses on your face. I'm so glad you can see me. Come here, baby. Wear your glasses. Put them on. You sexy. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, Miss Samantha, the gangster? Welcome, queen. Uh, Mr. Williams, he said, damn, this looks good, bro. This is what progress and consistency looks like. I'm happy and really is one on the airways. Hey, listen, a real one is on the airways, sir. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you for the constant support. I appreciate you. Uh, I believe that being ashamed of your uh, baggage is counterproductive because if you're with the right person and you chose the right person, we often get fooled. That's a fact. We often get fooled. By pretenders, but they can only pretend for so long. You know they can only pretend for so long. Once you find out they're not worthy of your attention, time, anything else you've invested, get rid of them. Have no forgiveness. Hey, well, forgive them. Yeah, forgiveness is for you anyway. I forgive you for wasting my time, but you're not going to waste another minute or another second. You know what I'm saying? So your baggage, own it. Own it. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. To me, baggage is just the past coming with you. You got to carry it. Now you're looking for somebody to help you carry that thing from the luggage part right on into your trunk. And you carry it. Build together. They coming with baggage too. You know what I'm saying? So now it's two people, one problem. Two people, one problem. Instead of just you fighting your own battle. You got two heads. One problem every time. Y'all moving from one problem to the next. Building and building and building and building. Next thing you know you look up and y'all got an empire. What's the downside in that? No it's got not going to be easy. I'm not saying that. Because if it was so easy. Everyone would be doing it. And it would be a way of life. We wouldn't be talking about relationship advice books. Tapes. Things of that nature. We wouldn't talk about that because relationships would be easy. Miss Henry say the real will reveal sometime it don't take long. Will reveal itself in some time. It won't take long. You know, it never takes long if you're paying attention. A lot of people aren't as detailed as I am. A lot of people don't put as much time into paying attention to what people say even when they're joking. Especially when they're mad. I pay a lot of attention to what people don't say. As opposed to everything they are saying. Because the things they're not saying. Is the things they're keeping from me. Which is what I need to know in order to move forward. So I ask questions. I'm very detailed. That's not something that I was a learned behavior. Even though I had some training in it. It's just... Something I've always had instilled in me is to be detailed. And I think that comes from uh, my drive to be better every day. My drive to be a good person to people. My drive to, to mingle in so many different circles. You have to be able to communicate very well to move in a lot of different circles. You have to be able to communicate very well to continue to excel 
every day. If you cannot communicate, if you don't pay attention to detail, you're going to miss so much and you're going to find yourself at the starting point every day. And that is not a good feeling. I've been back to the drawing board. I've been rock bottom a few times. I understand what missing the smallest detail on the way up feels like. Mr. Williams said, you said building. That is a word my wife and I use often because that's what it essentially is, building. It's not magic. You have to work for it every day and stick to your strategy. That is a fact. Salute to you, King. Him and his wife are on the right track. They understand that the first thing they needed was a solid foundation. The first thing they needed was good communication. And all of that went hand in hand. So there came the trust. There came the dependency between the two of them. There came a union. It, came a, it became a union only because they understood that we are building something to become a greater us. You know what I'm saying? Now, two people, one problem every time. Two people, one problem. Even if one person take care of it, they still understand that that other person is right behind them, either supporting them or Basically, there in case they slip a little bit and go through something. You know what I'm saying? They know that that support is there and they won't completely fall. That is important when looking at it. Uh, Miss Dorothy Nelson, how you doing, Queen? She got a lot to say today for me. And I love that every time you come through. She said, I got to sign off. I'm at work. But definitely love this. Uh. It has been in my reality these past few months. One failed situation made me sit down with my best friend and old love and made us unpack our baggage and misunderstandings and get to the real of what was inside. Keep up those discussions. I appreciate you, Queen. Thank you so much. I know that everybody has to get to somewhere and do something today. The Titan game jumping to sometime tonight. I ain't even check in on it. But uh, Miss Henry says, me too. I've always been good at listening to others because most will contradict their own fake life. Listen, if it's a fake life, you absolutely don't have or look around too far for what's wrong. The picture will paint itself. Uh, Discussing your baggage is important for your personal growth. Uh, For the sake of the new relationship or whatever relationship you're embarking upon, you know, uh, Miss Shauna, how you doing, Queen? She said, I ask questions, too, sometimes. They don't know how to act. They feel this in the interrogation and is in in a way it is. I need to know some things. Well, delivery is important. Delivery is very important, sweetheart. Nokia, thank you for that. It's 21 to 10 for the Titans right now. Uh, delivery is very important. I think that you, uh, you don't want to ask a million questions up front so fast. You know, I don't believe that interrogating somebody is going to get you the desired effect. I believe that it's more important to let some things play out, but it all depends on who you're dealing with. I understand that somebody is shy. They don't speak a lot. They don't talk a lot. And you got to dig things out of them or you got to woo them into talking. Or some people you even got to have a casual margarita with occasionally just to get them talking to you a little bit and try to figure out more about them because you feel like you're the one giving everything verbally. Miss Henry say, I got Mr. Henry every day. I know that's right. Hold it down. Uh, What if I told you all as a whole That baggage could be the foundation of a very healthy relationship. What if I told you baggage is strictly for a healthy relationship? I believe that. I believe that once you unpack and you put everything in those perspective drawers, metaphorically, in the relationship, everybody knows where everything is. Guess what? Now, it's no longer baggage. It's tools that you can reach into and build with. It's things that you don't have to run from any longer because every, both of you in the relationship 
Understand where everything is, what lines, the healthy boundaries that you built within the relationship. And you no longer have to run from what's being hidden. Miss Kedra Shanklin, how are you, queen? She said, I've come to learn that some people do not have good communication skills, which can cause confusion at times. No, it can cause confusion all the time if you don't have effective communication skills. You see what I'm saying? If you don't have effective communication skills, every relationship you embark upon will fail. I'm here to tell you that up front, 100% of the time. We are wired to communicate. That's why there's so many different ways to communicate. So many different languages. So many different uh, ways that you can reach out to people. It's because we're wired to communicate. I believe that being wired to communicate is just asking for acceptance. Once you get somebody to understand you, that's you really just asking for them to accept your point of view. Who doesn't want to be accepted in this world? No, Miss Nokia, she says, because everyone has been vulnerable and we're able to communicate. That's a fact, too. That's a fact. You know, this is because if you allow yourself, you and your significant other, the chance to identify and work on them, you'll also gain trust and you'll gain a partner, a real partner. You see what I'm saying? Not just any old body that can play the role for a few months or maybe even that first year or maybe even for good sexual experiences. I'm talking about longevity in partnership. That's what unpacking your baggage will do for you in that situation. You know, I don't feel like any baggage is good or bad. I just feel like it's to decide how you react to the baggage is the deciding factor on whether or not. It's a positive outcome or a negative outcome. Mr. Q, he says, uh, most people who don't communicate, it's because of their fear of judgment. Let me tell you something, Q. That was big. That was big, King. I salute you for that. The word, the word he used was fear and then judgment. Let me tell y'all something. Operating out of fear will never get you past anything no obstacle in life. You cannot afford to operate out of fear in any type of relationship. You cannot afford it. Here's why. Operating out of fear. God told me not to I don't know who you pray to. But my God tells me not to operate out of fear. Simply because operating out of fear is holding you back from being the full and great you. The moment you let go of fear and step into faith and step into being all of what you... It took nothing for me to get in front of y'all and start talking to y'all weekly about the things that are on my mind and the things that you guys desire. To, it took nothing for me because I feel like this is where God wanted me to be. Communicating with the people constantly. Having conversations. Op having an open dialogue and an open platform for, platform for people to release what they weren't capable of releasing with whoever they were supposed to. No longer a burden. And I allow you that platform, right? Being that I stepped out on what I thought was my path and my journey. Fear would have never put me in front of this camera. Fear would have took me out of my purpose. Fear would have shut out so many of you from being able to come on here and express the best parts of you and some of the worst parts of you. Which makes you better in return because you got that burden off your shoulders. And then judgment. Judgment is something they're going to do whether they like you or not. People that love you the most judge you. Don't be afraid of judgment. Miss Henry says no judgment in real love. Only assisting to be better, to be better, more comfortable and greater together. You know, I would say that that's a, a, a dope statement, but we're human. So where we're human, we tend to be judgmental sometimes. But I think that love allows you to keep it at a moderate level. 
Love allows you to still respect your partner over the judgment. I don't believe that we stop judging because we're in love. I think that we just judge on a different scale, on a curved scale, rather than a direct and beeline judgmental turn your back. Love just help us to soften the blow. But it's still a true statement on your behalf. I just think that love softens the blow if you have any type, type of real love and respect for that person. You know, I've had women say, don't talk about other women when I met them, right? I think that was the worst thing a woman could tell me is to not talk about another woman from my past. We don't have to say names when I'm telling you about them. We don't even have to talk time frame if you don't want to. But the one thing I do want to do is unpack certain triggers and certain baggage baggage, baggage things that come with Jermaine. If it comes with me, baby, I want you to know who I am, what happened, why it happened, what my part in it was. Because I'm more concerned about what my part in it was, where I went wrong for me. But then I want you to see what was done to me. To make me react in this way. Why this wall is built here. Or why I protect my heart in this simple way. And how it's going to affect you. But if you shut me down from unpacking certain baggages. So you can get to know me. I don't have anything to build with you. At this point we can just be cool. Miss Nokia said we're going to judge. But, but say I love you and respect you through it. That's a fact. That's a fact. I don't I don't disagree with that, Miss Nokia. Uh the triggers the triggers for me. How you doing, Miss Karen? Hello, Queen. She says she'll carry all my luggage. You'll never have to because I'm out there extending my open arms for your luggage, ma'am. Which means we're saying the same thing, so the baggage won't be heavy heavy at all. Uh people like to place labels of luggage on things that I don't feel like are luggage such as uh, a deformity from birth that's not baggage that's just a part of you that's who you are it's not baggage you're just not the person to be able to deal with that part of them that comes with it right uh, to me that's their preference though it's your preference to say, I don't want a guy with kids. It's your preference to say, I don't want a guy that's been married before. It's your preference, fellas, to say, I don't want a woman with kids. When you call it baggage, be respectful because just because you can't carry it doesn't mean it's a negative connotation being used. Don't make that a negative connotation because it's not bad that they have kids. That just spells that they had relationships before you, which possibly, possibly also means they're better at relationships than you because they've seen what they don't want. And now they have a longer list of what they do want and what they won't accept. So now they have a guideline, something that you people who've never been married could possibly use an experienced person that's been through marriage to say, listen, we're not going down that road. This is not something we're going to argue about. I've been through that. We've argued over that. And I've learned that we don't have to argue about this. But what we can do is come up with a better budget that works for me and for you. We can both change to come together. But we won't argue and break up. That's not what we're going to do. So don't be so quick to run from the things that you say is your major preference. I don't have many no-nos when it comes to meeting people except for uh, slow, dumb, and stupid. I, I can't do those those three. Slow, dumb, and stupid. People that just desire to be unethical, honest, and use their common sense. I just cannot not get a, not per se get along with those type of women. I can't do them because they don't match up with where I'm going. Where I'm headed requires those things. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm headed requires 
a, a studious woman, somebody that's always trying to do more and be bigger and better than yesterday. Yes, you can relax and put your feet up. But baby, tell me you accomplished something today that made you better today than yesterday. But slow, dumb, and stupid, I, I can't do that. No, no, thank you. There's some slow, dumb, and stupid guys that would love to meet you, baby. Those stuck on their past and just don't desire to be better. Can't do those people either. Mr. Williams, how you doing, sir? He says, we should investigate one another so you know who you're investigate, investing in. I know a relationship may feel inorganic because of the questions, but we can build a better foundation when we are 100. Then after that, you will know one another much better and you can shoot, move, and communicate a lot better. Hey, listen, well said, sir. Well said. This is a married man that has accomplished the, the goals of meeting, well, first hunting, because we're the hunters, wooing the girl, and now maintaining the relationship. That's somebody that has conquered all three levels of a relationship, and now he's just maintaining it. So I believe you, bro, and I wish you so much success in that marriage and in the family life. I'm sure your kids, I know the person, you've always been a good dude. You a king for real, so I know your kids going to be straight and well taught. Uh, triggers pertaining to any type of trauma, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, triggers. It is so, 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 so important for you not to withhold deep, Deep triggers of trauma from somebody new. You waking up with the shakes. It's their first time spending the night. You sweating profusely, kicking and screaming. And then you tell, you look right over there at them after they done got to panicking and trying to calm you down. And you tell them, oh, nothing. It was just a nightmare. Then the next day, they casually ask you again, what was wrong? Why was you... um?" What happened? Why was you drink this like the third night in a row? You done done that. What, what, what's going on? Oh, nothing. It's all good. That's a lie. It is now time to open up about what's going on. Because you obviously got this person next to you for a reason. You obviously comfortable enough. If you comfortable. I always say if you comfortable enough to lay down with them, you comfortable enough to tell them. Your deepest secrets. Some of your deep things. You done already accepted them inside of the temple of your body. Your body is your temple. You done accepted them inside your most perfect part of you. The most special thing you got. Tell me why you kicking and screaming at night. That's important. That's important. Do you agree out there in the gallery? Do you agree... That relationships for letting people that relationships are for letting people in. Because that's how I feel. I feel like relationships are strictly for letting someone in. That's how we connect. We're wired to connect. Being that we're wired to connect and relationships are for letting people in, why would you withhold baggage? Why would you withhold baggage? Yes, don't take out the factor that. Letting people in has timing to it. Yes, there's a time and a place for everything. Absolutely. There's a time and a place for everything. That's a fact. But I'm asking, why would you not want to open up to your partner? Why would you not want to open up and give them the most pertinent pieces to help you get through whatever it is you're trying to get through? You know what I'm saying? You've created a healthy boundary the moment you let your partner in. The moment you let your partner in on some of this baggage. Soon as you start releasing that, you'll feel better. Your partner is now going to start to bond with you more because they're like, oh, wow. You trust me with that information? Fellas, ladies, it's so important to keep people's secrets. Keep your partner's secrets. 
I'm telling you, that person will real deal die for you when they find out that you can keep their secrets. That's so big. The worst times shape us, right? So if the worst times shape us and the baggage also shapes you and you get through it, think about how much bigger and better your relationship will be because y'all both made it over the hump. Y'all got through those things together. Last but not least, I want to make one more point and I won't keep y'all long. I appreciate every single one of y'all that came through to show me love and bless me with your presence. The one thing I want to let y'all in on is a small secret that may not be a secret to you. And that's that baggage is not a negative thing. Baggage has a negative connotation attached to it, but it's not negative. What it is, is life's experiences, things that have shaped you, things that have brought you to where you are today. And if you plan on furthering yourself in life, furthering the things that you and your partner want to accomplish, the biggest, most courageous thing you could do is expose those things to your partner so that y'all can work together to build. Ms. Keetra Shanklin says, opening up the baggage requires a certain level of vulnerability that some people are afraid to do. Once again, fear, operating out of fear, is a negative. And being judged is something that, uh, I guess, your, love, your partner won't judge you harshly because they have character and love for you. So it would say more about the, their character if they judge you harshly and, and down you for whatever baggage you're trying to unpack. Now, I do say your delivery is everything. Be intelligent. Don't just come out and shock somebody and say, hey, I got the train ran on me by 12 dudes when I was in the seventh grade. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was the seventh grade and we in our 30s. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Miss Anderson, she said, you cannot lay down the full truth if you have not owned it yourself. You forget that denial exists. I point. Come out of denial and be who you are. Your partner needs the transparent you. Your partner needs you. Operate out of fear of judgment, and you can't operate out of denial. Those things are shackles that will tie you to the ground. How you doing, Miss Bonita? I'm about to get out of here. You about to, you're going to have to rewind the tape, queen. But you're not late. You are fashionably late, which means that you just look amazing doing what you do, baby girl. So in closing, I want to say thank everybody for showing up. Uh, words of encouragement to be yourself. Be the best you you can be. No partner out there that is deserving of you will ever down you for unpacking your baggage. They'll only help you carry it to the necessary destination and as much as you work through it, you should be dropping things off along the way. The baggage should only get lighter with the right person. You understand? So, thank you. I love each and every one of y'all. Do not forget to go subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I have left it in the comments, which I'm doing right now. I'm leaving it in the comments for you to subscribe to the Jermaine Hall Show on YouTube. It takes five seconds for you to bless me with your presence. Things are only going up from here for me and for you because the content is going to get bigger and better every time. Please click on the link. It is the Jermaine Hall Show and subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate y'all for showing up. Once again, we got Q in the comments. I love each and every one of y'all. If y'all want anything, shirts, hats, I'm about to send him a whole gang of hoodies so he can get me right for the winter with the Jermaine Hall Show gear. He did this for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to send him all kind of stuff so he can get me right. I appreciate everybody for showing up, Miss Nokia. I appreciate you. Uh, you can catch him. Once again, I'm going to flash this information for him on there so that y'all can get his information. 
That's where you can find Mr. Q. GHSLware.com or for custom designs, you can catch him at IG on GHSL underscore QUE. And on Facebook right here on this platform, GHSLQ. That's his Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, he does the top of the line work and he does not play around. He gets you your product for the right price. If you need any more information, this is where you can find him. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all could have been any anywhere in this world, but y'all chose to be right here with your boy Solo. I do thank you, and I also want to say uh, there's no better place than the place with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I really do truly get pure happiness out of being here with y'all. So without further ado, I'm going to lead on out of here with my bro song. It's called I'm Trying to. You can catch him on showcheese.com on YouTube. Everybody be blessed and be good to yourselves in my absence.